Good afternoon, everybody. September 4th, 2023. Happy Labor Day. Today, I just checked my transmission fluid on my 72 MGB for the first time. I'm happy to say that it is nice and clean. Um, it's a little low, so I'm just going to add a little bit. So I bought some Castrol. 20W50. Now I know I don't need two quarts. Probably a half a quart. I just bought an extra one, you know, just in case. Because I can always use it for motor oil. Um, so, uh, let me show you my apparatus. This I actually made for my TR7, which is under this cover, to change the transmission fluid. But it has a regular fill plug on the side and a drain plug on the bottom. And then I would route this through the engine compartment to the top fill plug. This I made. I just went to the hardware store and got some tubing and just neck down to the small diameter. This I got in a in a uh, auto parts store, this first part here, which it's a valve so you can open it and close it, which is great. And you just screw in your oil uh, bottle into here, and you rotate this, and this is a valve, so you can turn it off. So I'm going to start with a half a quart. I'll show you where the oil goes. This is a 72. I think they changed the filler on the 74s and higher. Oh, it's getting warm in here, so let me put the torch on. Hold on. Torch is on. Previous owner had some radio wiring here, which I never put the radio back in. But so let me just show you. you can almost see the hole through there, but I'll just go back here. There it is. See? Oh, hey, look at that! Look at that! So I have the dipstick out. That is my the top of my transmission. How cool is that? Okay, now I already took out the dipstick. This is what it looks like. All right, just like an oil dipstick, and uh, mine was on low, so mine was below. Mine was about up to the W when I checked it on the low, so I'm going to just fill it. I want to get it up to that high line, and that's all I'm uh, fixing to do today. Okay, see you in a bit. Incidentally, a small mirror enables you... Hold on. I'll show you. Look, I stick I stick the mirror through the radio cutout. Right? I stick the mirror through here and there, look. Clean shot when you're putting in the dipstick, see? Just use a little common sense. And I'm, I'm kneeling on the grass right now. My right knee is on the grass. My left knee is not on the grass. It's kind of extended at a slight bend of the knee. So, you know, you got to be a little flexible to work on an MGB. Everybody knows that. So I watched a lot of the... I don't know, for some reason I get all these yoga things. Girls stretching in the morning and stuff. And I don't do yoga, but, you know, they're an inspiration to me to be more flexible and that'll just help me um, work on the bee a little bit easier without the body creaking and cracking and whatever. All right, I had my my headlight on in the mirror. And, uh, hold on. Put the phone through where the radio goes. Nope. Lost the torch. Hold on. Well, maybe this is a better angle for me. It's going into the transmission, the port on top. You don't want it to fall out, so hold it. Then I'm going to connect my oil to this, hold it vertically, and squeeze the oil down into the port. So you could see this. I have the oil 
I'm not squeeze. If you want it to come out fast, squeeze the cord. And it'll flow faster, but it's flowing nicely. I'm going to put the phone down and uh, squeeze the uh, cord. That'll make it go faster. Could you imagine doing this in the Rolls Royce and then getting oil all over the carpet? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, obviously, uh, you can see it is flowing. Now, if you want to speed up the flowing, just cut a little slit in this bottle right here. Just poke a hole, and uh, it'll, it'll speed it up. It'll definitely speed it up. Because we got physics working against us here, but the gravity is overcoming the, the pressure. And you could also squeeze the bottle, and that'll... Uh, That'll uh, speed up the process, like I said before. I'm just, I am melting. It is so hot right here. My, I'm just dripping bullets, but it's all good. Apparently, the previously owner, the previous owner, or the previous previous owner, or the previous 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 owner, put some wiring in for radio. The radio was in the trunk. I never put it back in. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. That's why you see all this. This isn't me. All right, she's flowing. Little by little. Okay, I'm going to shut this off because I'm, tr I'm trying to make a short video for a change. Okay, as you could see by the level, I have this horizontal, so I have almost three quarters of a quart going in here. So I'm going to stop it now, pull it out. I'm sure I'm going to drip it all over the rug here. And I'm going to test it with the dipstick. Okay, so I'm just going to shut the valve right now. Hold on. Now, as I said before, this dipstick was on the low. It was low. So I'm hoping it's up to the high mark now. Okay, we'll see. Make sure you have a paper towel at the end of this hose if you're going to do this method. Because... You don't want to spill it on your rug. Okay, well I put in almost a half a quart and... Um, as you can see, it's just past the uh, line there. So I'm obviously going to put the whole cord in and it should reach the high. I was hoping I wouldn't have to re-thread re the needle with the tube, but it's not that bad. Okay, I got the uh, tube in there. Can't see it, but... It's down in, inside the transmission. That's not the hole. That's not the hole of the transmission. And the hole of the transmission is down a few inches, so a couple inches. You got to get it in there. Otherwise, you're just going to pour your tranny fluid uh, down into the ground. <laughs> You'll see a big uh, spill. So this time, I'm putting a hole in this cord because I'm using the whole cord. It's safe to put in the whole cord because it didn't move that much when I put in almost a half a cord. So. This whole quart's going in, and it's going to go in fast. Okay, folks, we're going to check the transmission oil level now. Um, I got in almost a quart. It would have been a quart, but I I poked a hole in the bottle. But I poked a hole a little bit too, uh, too low near the spout. So when I squeezed it, the oil went up a little bit and came out the hole that I poked in the bottle so that it would flow faster and it kind of went all over my hand so I got a little less than a quart here but the level should be good so we'll see okay ladies and germs put about a quart in and uh, hold on a sec uh, trying to focus here it's right on the high line there it's right 
very hard to see. Let me put the torch on. Maybe it'll be easier. Uh, it's dripping, but that's not the accurate reading. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe if I go against the building. That's a little better. You could see it's a uh, little bit just before the H. And, of course, it might settle a little bit once I drive it, but it's definitely um, a lot better than being below the low line, which is where it was. So I guess, folks, you can just assume that these two lines are a quart apart, around a quart apart, roughly, give or take a few ounces. See? Now you can see. Look how clear that is. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to end this video. Success. Coming over here to the MGB. I'm just gonna put the dip stack. Dip stack. That's my sweat all over the seat. That's not oil. I'm gonna put the dip stick stick back in and tuck the wires in and uh good to go. Thanks for spending a Labor Day afternoon with me, folks. Hope this helped. And remember, this is only for the cars that actually have the dip stick behind the radio. Alright. I think 74 on they changed it. You can verify that. Well, it's easy to verify. If you go under your car and you see the drain hole on the bottom of the transmission, then a little bit up the side, on the side of the transmission, you see another drain plug. Well, then you know you don't have a dipstick. Okay. I'll see you. Happy motoring. And there you could see. There you could see it. Seated where it belongs. Until next time. Thanks for watching. I'm not in a very comfortable position right now. But it's okay.